Wide guard goes off. Do they set up Sun again? They do set up Sun again. This is why we locked last respects. Go for the D Gleam again. Yeah. I think you're locked into D Gleam. I'm going to be honest. I think you're locked in. What is going on, everybody? My name is Nico, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC Climb video. Today, we are rocking an Oink Alone team. I've never used this Pokemon, like, at all, ever. In the history of my time playing Scarlet Violet, even out of competitive play, I have never used this Pokemon. So I'm really, really excited to see what we can do here. Now, the Oak Leon in question, I don't even know how to say this Pokemon's name, is Terra Fairy. It's got Super Fang, Helping Hand, Yawn, and Protect with an Aguav Berry to just kind of maximize Gluttony. You get it at half health and be able to keep this Pokemon in longer. Uh, pretty useful little set here as far as just being able to boost your teammates as well as kind of be annoying with yawn and things of that nature. Really like that aspect. Super Fang, super nice as well. Big staple on mouse holds. Uh, and then the rest of the team is just kind of good stuffs with that Basque Legion to spice up the end game. I really like this team. I think it looks really cool. I'm keen to try it out. The only thing I'm noticing off the rip is our real only forms of speed control are our priority, our Swift Swim, Basque Legion, and Fake Out. That's really it. We don't have Tailwind on this Pelipper, which I find very, very interesting. So, kind of an interesting sort of setup here for this particular team, but I'm keen to see what we can do here. So, this team comes from a person that joined the Discord and literally just left as soon as they dropped the team pace. So, it's literally just M in my Discord. And I have no other information on who created this team, anything like that. So, I do apologize, but the shout outs to M for coming into the Discord, dropping the team, and then bouncing. But if this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you are sub for more videos like this in the future. And question of the day, what's your favorite normal Pokemon? Like first route normal Pokemon, because I am such a huge fan of LeChonk, but I don't think it beats out Bidoof for me. I love Bidoof so much. So that's my pick. Let me know yours. Let's get into some battles. Hmm. It got the Hearth Flame. I'm kind of tempted to just roll with this on the lead. Bring Unkleon in the back, and then maybe Iron Hands. Kind of thinking that works. But let's see what they decide to do. Opted out of the Arcanine just because they do have that Empoleon and that could be problematic. Definitely could be problematic. Empoleon is just such a good Pokemon right now. We do have to be a little careful. Honestly, I'm almost wishing I had Lead Basky Legion in hands. I'm almost wishing we did that instead, because I think they're going to just set up on us with Sun, and that becomes a problem very quickly. Ah, but they're not. Okay. Uh, Honestly, I think we just protect this turn and see what they want to do. Avoid the fake out, avoid breaking Sash on Pelipper, and just kind of wait it out. Wait and see what they want to do. Went for Yawn into Basque Legion. Okay. And Wild Charge into Pelipper. Okay. I mean, we're just going to try and get this hands off the field. The question becomes, do I want to use Weather Ball or do I want to use Hurricane? Like, what are the odds they rotate into, like, Terra here? 
I think I'm going to go for the Hurricane instead, just in the off chance they Terra. I think that's just better for us. Wave Crash is going to go off here. This should do huge damage. Ah, nice. One hit KO, baby. So much recoil damage. There's the yawn. Cool. Okay. I think Empoleon's going to be the biggest problem. Oddly enough. I'm just going to go for a uh, sw swap here and a weather ball into the torn. And they're actually going to get Empoleon out. What comes in? Luttermain. Okay. There's the sunny day. I still get the weather ball, like, which is cool. I mean, I still benefit from weather ball. I mean, I think I just go for the wild charge here. And I get Oink Leon in. Here comes the Terra. Probably Terra Fairy. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Here comes the D-Gleam. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. All right, Protosynthesis were off. Let's go for a Wide Guard in a Last Respects. Wide Guard goes off. Do they set up Sun again? They do set up Sun again. This is why we locked Last Respects. Go for the D-Gleam again. Yeah, I think you're locked into D-Gleam. I'm going to be honest, I think you're locked in. Nice. That's huge. That's really big for us. <clears throat> in comes Empoleon. The question really becomes, can we knock out Empoleon? Let's go for another wide guard. Go for the last respects. Because they can't hit us with Bleak Wind if we go for another wide guard, right? And that's like all their Tornadus has. There we go. There's the bleak win. We protect from that. You love to see it.
Teleport coming in clutch here. Last respects. Can we KO? Yeah! So we just wide guard again. And that's the battle. Let's go. Oakleon didn't do a whole lot. Oink did not do much in that battle. However, it did preserve the Pokemon we needed to preserve. So you know what? It did something. It did do something. We kept the Basque Legion in play and we were able to lock down. That had to have been Choice Specs D-Gleam, right? Choice Specs with the Proto uh, Synthesis boost, boosting the special attack and hitting D-Gleam. One hit KOs my Iron Hands. That seems kind of wild. So I'm definitely thinking that was Specs and it was locked into D-Gleam. All right. That is interesting. Okay, how do I want to do this? Because I could definitely see them being a real nuisance uh, with that Garchomp. At the same time, I don't want to bring Arcanine just because they have that Empoleon, right? I'm kind of thinking this is my lead with Oink and do I want the Arcanine in the back? I just don't hit that Empoleon if I bring it is the problem. Do I want Oink hands or do I want Oink uh, Golden Go? I think this is what I want. I think I want Oink Golden Go here. Because I can avoid the Amoongus with that. I can avoid the Amoongus. That's really big. I think that's also really crucial. Um, Amoongus can be a problem for this particular team. Lucario and Torn. Okay. Um I mean we just double Lucario, right? We just doubled the Lucario. Focus Sash Lucario. No one's shocked by that. To go for just Bleak Wind off the bat. I mean, they're probably taking Basket Legion this turn. From the look of things. Oh no. Hold on. We're fine. We're A-OK. -okay. Hurricane. We get the free knockout on Lucario. Nice. Garchomp's going to come in now. What if I just protect and go for a weather ball into that Garchomp? <clears throat> what stops me from doing that? Just to see what they want to do. They likely go for Tailwind this turn. Garchomp's just going to protect, actually. Okay. Interesting. Huh. 
I don't know if Terra's worth it. Let's think. So what if I Terra Water Aqua Jet this thing? And I helping hand it. Do we think we KO? I think it's worth trying. Garchomp's actually going to swap. Oh my gosh, into Amoongus. That sucks. That is very not good. Is it Rocky Helma Moongus too? That did a lot of damage. Yeah, it is Rocky Helm. We're gonna die. <laughs> Good play. Good play. I mean, we get Goldango in. Makes me wish I didn't Terra, because I think I need it now. I'm going to go for the nasty plot here. Um, And I'm just going to yawn Amoongus. Because if they swatch, swap the Garchomp back in, I think that's our best play. This torn has caused a lot of issues. That's fine. Speed drop. We do get our berry on the oink. Okay. Now we go for make it rain and we protect Oink. We protect Oink. Okay. There's the make it rain. There we go. Okay, this is going to be a close one. And there's no way they don't have Earthquake, right? That's the problem. There's no way they don't have Earthquake. So I'm just going to protect this turn and go for a, do I go for Super Fang? I think I have to go for Super Fang. I have to get it in range. Air fire, that's fine. I mean, they just EQ, right? Yeah. There's no way we survive. Oink Leon is tanky, though. I wish I had another attack on this Pokemon. Man. Well, Dango's almost at 
Max, it, uh, I just don't think we take this from the Garchomp. It comes down to if I can hit it, KO with a Shadow Ball. We have to be able to take this EQ, and I just don't think we do. Oh my gosh, Goldango! Goldango! Let's go, baby! Oink Leon takes another dub! Oh my gosh! I did not think we would take that EQ. I did not think we'd take the EQ. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Oink showing its worth with the Super Fang, putting it in range for Goldango. Wait, they have Houndstone, but where's their Sand Center? Are they using... Are they using Torn for it? I think Arcanine's actually very good here. <clears throat> I think Arcanine's actually very solid. Um, I'm almost thinking Arcanine in hands. Arcanine hands. Um, Golden Go and Oink. I could even just lead these two. And bring Arcanine in the back with Golden Go. I kind of like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. What's their lead? Okay. Let's just protect. Go for the wild charge. <clears throat> I could have also swapped my golden go in. Might not have been a bad play. But let's see. Let's see what they do. Because I could definitely just see them uh, going for a nasty plot this turn. Oh no, you've made my iron hands slower than dirt slow. Okay. They have no tailwind option now. That's really nice. How fast is my Arcanine? We are max speed on our suing Arcanine. That's kind of big. <clears throat> kind of big. Do I want a helping hand or do I want a yawn? That these are the questions. I'm just gonna go for the yawn because there's not a I don't know that I keep Iron Hands up this turn. We avoid the attack with Oink, that's big. We do hold on, just barely. Yawn goes off.
Wild Charge into that slot. Good damage. Good damage. Uh, we can get Arcanine in now. What else could they have? They could have their own Arcanine. They could have a couple things. I think I go for Rock Slide. And just go for the Helping Hand here. Or I could even get in my own Golden Go. I think I'll get my own Golden Go in. Good damage. I go for the Shadow Ball. I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball into that Golden Go. Axe is going to swap. We're going to Terra. Let's see if they Terra. Rock Slide connects. That should KO. It does. Nice. And we're... Yes. Our Shadow Ball goes first. We're faster. Nice. That's huge. All right, we have this game unlocked now. We have this game unlocked. Because what we need to do now is swap Oink back in for the Arcanine. And just go for a Shadow Ball. And they gave us the battle. That is three dubs with the Oink, baby. Oink putting in work. There's the team for you guys. This was a lot of fun. Honestly, Oink is kind of interesting as a support Pokemon. Um, honestly, it, it really isn't that great. Like, I feel like you could definitely just fill that spot with a mouse hold and do some, do like more. But it is fun to be able to see a Pokemon like this actually be able to be used in an effective way. I do really like that about this particular Pokemon. Now, I will say this team is very, very uh, positionally based, right? You have to be able to rotate your weathers and play effectively with uh, these Pokemon. I have to say I do like the Weather Ball a lot on the Pelipper because the Weather Ball will still benefit you. Uh, if they change the weather on you because you could still use it for big damage and like sun and things like that uh, So I do like the weather ball pick on the Pelipper I think it really helps the Pelipper in the scenario also having both protect and wide guard did do some work I did like that a fair bit for our Pelipper. So honestly really cool team all around I like how much Oink Leon was able to support the other Pokemon whether it be by getting a Pokemon to half HP to put it in range to KO or to yawn to make them swap really really solid addition to this team so i like it a lot i hope you guys like the video thank you again to m for sharing the team i again i don't have more information on this creator unfortunately um but yeah really really cool team so if you enjoyed the video at any point leave a like and sub for more competitive pokemon content from me every single day and also be sure to check out the discord people over there hanging out playing pokemon all the time and if you want to see anything else from me check out any of the videos that you see here on screen but until next time Peace.